let's go into um week eight. Um, let's let's go over the slate. What are we thinking for these games? If you got a bet, let's hear it. Um, obviously Ravens Bucks played yesterday. Yeah, twenty seven twenty two Ravens. Um, next game Broncos Jags. You still high on the on the Jags? I'm gonna take the Broncos. Jags in this game because I, I I like the uh, younger team I in, like in a take game the, like this. The Jaguars every single week. Well, they're they're a good <laughs> underdog pick. Yeah. Every week they're a good underdog pick, and I I I well, trust the they're, younger team they're in a actually, situation they're like actually going to London. To, they're actually oh they there. should be. I think yeah. they should be. Jags so minus too. two and a half. Like dude, going to London, no one wants to do it, especially a veteran team. It sucks if you're a younger team and you're hanging out with the boys on the road. Like that's fun. Like that that's fun. Uh, these guys are new to the NFL. They're not used to the grind quite yet. So I think they enjoy it more than maybe a veteran would. They enjoy that experience. So. I think the Jags are going to play with high energy, and I think they'll win that game. Yeah, I'm I'm going to have to fade Benny on that pick. Uh, something to be said if Russell Wilson's doing high knees in the aisles of the airplanes. Oh, oh if boy. that we uh, if I was on the need to talk oh, about. Boy. If I was on the Broncos and Russell Wilson was doing high knees and I was trying to sleep, I'm sticking my leg out in the <laughs> aisle and tripping and making a face no, plan. See, I like, thought, get the flight <laughs> attendant cart and just dude, like, <laughs> sit the fuck down. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I, 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 Did you I, see I, the video last night of the? Uh, the Ravens. It was Justin yeah, Tucker. Justin. Yeah. Like, yeah. What did he say, Aiden? He, he was, was like, he's like he was Ravens like, flock or something. He's he like, like, let's he fly. Like Lamar, he was like, Lamar's leading the team and in high knees. <laughs> Benny, and then everyone in the background was like, oh, they were like, um, Mr. Unlimited. Mr. Unlimited. <laughs> Mr. Unlimited. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah. Russell Wilson. He's I a meme. I used to be a huge fan of his. Guys, are just an asshole now. Um, <laughs> honestly, no. But Aiden said something the other day. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> um. No, no, no. Uh, all right, next game: Bears, Cowboys. Um, Cowboys are opening up at ten, minus ten. And Taking minus the boys, ten. not to cover that. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I don't but think they'll cover, but I think they win. They'll win. Um, actually, I didn't get my pick for the Jags, Buck, uh, Broncos. Um, uh, I'm going Jags. I just don't. I don't trust them anymore. All right. Um, Raiders, Saints. We've got almost a pick them. We're gonna go with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are playing really good football. Um, I think they're figuring it out, which sucks for us because I was hoping. I think we have Jameis back. He could be. Either way, I don't. Be he's been out for so long. I mean, Michael Thomas is out again, bro. Play football. Yeah. What (laughs) What are we doing? What's up? Play football. Crazy. Yeah, I don't. Um, I would argue it's something else. Oh, oh, Ben, you didn't have to go there. (laughs) Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Raiders too. Uh, what about the Panthers Falcons? Falcons are minus four. Talk about a toilet bowl. I'll take the Falcons. Falcons. Yeah, I'll go Falcons as well. Terrible football. Um, Steelers, <laughs> Eagles. Oof, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me the uh, Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Is fly, Kenny Eagles fly? Kenny Pickett starting? Yeah. He honestly he looked good in the Miami game <sighs> on Sunday night. I know we threw that pick at the end, but he was making throws. Just feel bad for him. That's all. I think they're. I think Pittsburgh's gonna have I, a good uh, team in a couple years. I have, I, a, dec- I, have a, I have a decent amount of Steelers. I and, believe in Kenny. Um, that are that are in my uh, my classes, and uh, I think two out of the three are already done with Pickett. I mean, so we'll see. I it's know. easy to say that when you see a young quarterback struggling after like twenty Me years of a first ballot I, I love Kenny. Right? My brother went to Pitt. Been watching him for years. Um, from Jersey. Uh, next, I'm going Eagles. Uh, next, we've got Dolphins, Lions. Lions are only plus, or the uh, Dolphins are only minus three and a half here. So the Lions are plus three and well, a half. Well, I'm going to take the Dolphins, um, and I need Tua to go off for fantasy, so hopefully he does. But I, I just think that the Dolphins are, when fully healthy, they are a borderline contender. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. I, I kind of want to take Lions plus three and a half, but I feel like it relies on if, if Amon Ra is uh, is fully functional, no, I don't. I don't. Unfortunately, the, I hate it, but the stat line that has to go with Tua when he's when he starts, he's like nine and one now or something. Yeah, no, it's insane it's how ridiculous. much he's winning. It's insane. Um, Cardinals, Vikings. I'm gonna go with the Vikes. I don't believe in the car. Oh, fuck no. So how, are the, <laughs> how are the Vikings five and one? I'm I'm gonna go with the Cardinals. I think D Hop is the MVP of that team, and I think we saw it last week because you saw that. Uh-oh. You saw that uh, that little fight that Kyler and Cliff Kingsbury got into. The one who stopped that is D Hop. I I think D Hop's legitimately the leader of that team, and I think he's the MVP of that team. So 
I, I think the Cardinals are going to look like a new team with him back, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to go with the Cardinals this week. I agree, and from the start of our our first episode we did, we were always so high on the Vikings, so I think mm-hmm. there's 5-1 and one now, but... How are they 5-1? and one? I don't they're know. Like the most sneaky five and one. Yeah, team, like, and ever. they're gonna st- they're gonna win that division, and we're gonna end up being right. But not okay. So I thought we would be right because I thought the Vikings would be that good. It's more gonna be because the Packers are that bad. Yeah. I also I uh, should throw this in. I have a whale bet here. Um, I should have probably mentioned this before, but um, like earlier in the year, I've got fifty to win s- over six hundred dollars on the Vikings, the Eagles. And the Bills winning the division, so looks if good. things all things all look good there. Well, I mean the hopefully. Pats are gonna have something to say about that. <laughs> uh, a little worried about the Giants at this point. What do you What do you mean? I was making a joke about them winning the division. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna take Just the Vikings a bad here. Joke. Um, <laughs> <suck. laughs> Big game for the pod: Patriots Jets. I'm going with oh. the Jets. Patriots are two and a half. Oh, I'm going with the Jets. I think Penny. the I think the Pats blow. David Andrews is out. David Andrews is out. Who I think, if not Mac Andrews, is the leader of the team. Yeah. Um, Mac's gonna start. Um, and it's gonna be tough for. I think people underrate how important it is to develop uh, chemistry with your center. Um, I think center, outside of left tackle, obviously, is the most important spot on the O line, and Andrews is. He's up there with Jason Kelsey as the best center in the league. So mm-hmm. um, I, I got to go with the Jets this week. Um, and I think James Robinson's going to have a big week on uh, his first game as a Jet because the Pats can't stop the fucking run. Um, I want to I wanna lean Jets with my heart, but it feels like one of those classic Belichick out-coach games. So I'm going to go Pats, but I'm not confident in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to completely fade that as well. I think the curse is done. Screw Belichick. Let's go out yeah. there. Let's win this game. With that being said, we do have no Brees Hall, no Elijah Vera Tucker, and now today no Corey Davis. But I think we're going to be good. Just, yeah, just I run, just run the ball. Just I the ball. yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I Zach does little to nothing, and we just run. No, the literally, ball. just keep the ball out of his hands. Defense should be fine the whole day. We'll play good. And we'll win. I agree with that. But you know, you know, Bill's plan is to yeah, completely load the yeah. box, make him okay, throw it. Okay, Bill's plan last week was also to play dude two different quarterbacks. I think Bill's so. plan every week is to win, and, and we're it's very and it's very oh. jet like to go out there and lose by forty. But no, I'm gonna the be, I'm the gonna Pats be aren't. This feels different. the Pats aren't like that anymore. Um, they're just they have no. Last year they you guys looked, are just like weird though. You they shut out the Lions and then lose to the okay to the Bears last year. You can't tell me I'm wrong. The Patriots looked like the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Like, regardless of going – I know they didn't go 12-5 and five or whatever, but they were built like the Patriots. No, but they won 10 games. You had a quarterback who took care of the ball, you had a solid running game, and you played defense at a very high level, and you made big plays in the red zone to score touchdowns. So they looked like the Patriots, and they have no identity right now, which is supposed to be the advantage that the Patriots have on every single team is their identity. They're gonna take. They're gonna take care of business against the teams that they should, and then they they're gonna beat a team or two that they shouldn't. That they're not as good as. So, I mean, the Pats just they aren't like that anymore. And I think it comes down to the offensive play calling. Uh, I think if McDaniel's was still here, I think it's a completely different story. But the sad reality is that he isn't. So I gotta go with the Jets this week. Okay. Um. D- wait. Wait. So. So Johnny's eating ice cream this week. Johnny's gonna eat his ice cream. I have so yo if the if the if the Jets win in celebration let's let's go out let's get some ice cream. Too. You're buying. All right, I'll get you ice cream. Fair. But if the Jets lose, I'll, I'll, get you. I'll buy you. You ice gotta cream. get me ice cream. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Titans Texans. I'm gonna go with the Titans. I think the yeah. Titans are gonna win this division now. This is gonna be a good game. <laughs> I there, I think we might have a better uh, backyard football game at our <laughs> house. <laughs> no, on, honestly, I think uh, I think Vrabel is like turning into one of those coaches where like give him whatever team you yeah, want, yeah. And he's gonna figure it He'll out. He'll figure it out. Listen, um, he is he's the I, one guy. I feel bad for yeah, I feel bad for Lovey Smith in Houston. Yeah, I do too. I, I like wish Lovey had a better team. Yeah. I really do. Kind of sucks. I don't think he'll get fired though. That's the thing. No, they like him too. much. They like him. They're committed to yeah, him. And if anything, he'll just move back to. To like a coordinator position or something, whatever. Yeah, I, I just I don't see him not having a career in the NFL because he's such a great coach. Yeah, and he's been he was so forever. successful with the Bears. Great beard. Oh, dude, he's the man. I fucking love Lovey. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's goaded. But to get back to Vrabel, as you just said, Aiden, I I know he wasn't technically on the Belichick tree, but 
I consider him on the tree because he played for him, obviously, yeah. and uh, he's such deep roots there. But, um, yeah, I, I think he's – you look at the Bill O'Briens, you look at the Josh McDaniels, you look at Charlie Weiss, you look at Romeo Cornell, Matt Patricia even. Like, Vrabel's easily the most successful guy to come out of that tree, and I think you hit it right on the head in saying whatever team you give him, he's going to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, good for him. I'm, I'm happy for him. Um what about the Giants Seahawks? I think this is the most intriguing game of the week. Game of the week. And I'm going Seahawks. Give me Geno Smith in this game. Dude, Geno's just nasty. I don't even I'm, know. I'm rolling anymore. with Geno. I, I think Geno's legit. I really do. Um I think I'm gonna go Seahawks are home. You can't tell me Geno uh, Smith Kenneth isn't a pro Walk- bowler Kenneth right Walker now. Walker looks good. Of course he is. D- uh, DK Metcalf. If he's, he's out, out, that's gonna be tough. But this this would be a big prove it game for Geno. If you take away his number one receiver and he goes out and wins it against a six and one team, that's like, damn, good for you, man. Um, he's fucking legit. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Seahawks as well. I like that. I like also that. gonna go Seahawks. Fire! All right, let's see it. Um, okay, okay. Do the Seahawks have a chance to crack the wild card? Yeah, like, given might, the state of the out, NFC, they might beat out the Rams for that. Like in that, I agree. Second, no. Like, at this defense. at this moment, I would pick the Seahawks over the Rams. Their defense that could change tremendously in two weeks. But at this moment, I would take the Seahawks over the Rams. Yeah. I still think the Niners are going to win that division. Their rookie corner, I don't know if he's undrafted or like sixth round, whatever. Yeah, he's like, apparently he's like right he's behind like Sauce. Insane. He's insane. I don't. Whatever. Good for them. Uh, Commanders, Colts. We've got <clears throat> we've got a new quarterback. I'm going to go with town. the Colts. I think they're going to have an energy not having to play with Matt. I fucking blow Ryan. So, I think Jonathan Taylor's going to have a huge week. Well, who's the, the what's the name of the backup coming in now? Because Matt Ryan. Maddie, not nice. It's Sam. I don't know, and I don't care. Sam Ellinger. I think he's from Texas. His name could be not Matt Ryan. <laughs> like, his name could literally be I am, and then his middle name not, and then his last name Matt Ryan. Me and Aiden hate the Colts. Least favorite team in the NFL. Yeah. Listen, dude, they are the definition of blue money. balls. They take all my money. Um, I hope they do good, though. I mean, for the sake of Michael Pittman and my fantasy team. Um, so I'm going Colts because I just need them. Yeah. yeah. Going Commanders. I like Heineke. Probably the right move. Let's go. Uh, no, actually, I'm switching it. <laughs> Heineke starting? Yeah. I love Heineke. I like I Heineke, love too. I love Heineke. I'm, but, going uh, I'm, still, I'm still going Colts. I love Heineke. Great, dude. Um, 49ers, Rams. Going with the Niners, man. The father-son match. The Niners own the Rams. Yeah. I'm, own them. I'm going Niners. Um... But can you what's the, what's both the, these teams have what's three the, wins? What's the record? They it's like they're the Niners. I can believe. I can believe that they have three wins, and I think it's like their past eight matches oh, or something oh, like that. Yeah, just like I what the Rams haven't beat the Niners. Oh yeah, in like six games, I think it is something yeah. like that. But I'm honestly not surprised by the Niners. They do this every year. They go 500 the first half of the season, and they figure out a way to get into the playoffs. So I'm not surprised by the way the Niners have started at all. Um, but I am taking them to win this game. All right, the Green Bay Mitters, I mean Packers, and the Buffalo Bills. The Green Bay Pack of Losers will lose this game by at least 15 points. So Mark it down Bills now. minus 11? Yeah. Yeah, All Bills right. are, Bills are minus 10. Um, I cannot yeah. wait to see what Josh Allen does to Aaron Rodgers on national television. Is this the first Ryan time Aaron Rodgers is a, like, minus whatever? This is the first time he's uh, double-digit Yeah. underdog. Good. Um. So watch them win. No. He sucks. <laughs> um, and then finally for Monday night, we've got the Bengals without Jamar Chase versus the Browns. I'm going to go with the Bengals. Uh, as I just said, I think Burrow's reached that level of he's going to figure it he out well. even I, if Chase isn't there. I do think the one I, – I could see it being a lower scoring game than people expect. And I think that the deciding factor is if Miles Garrett goes absolutely berserk. Is he playing? He's playing, right? He's been back from that. Um, if he goes absolutely berserk on this – O line, and gets like two sacks, strip sack, whatever it is, bat bats a line down at the line of scrimmage. Um, that's the only way I could see see uh, this game going for the Browns. Um, this is my sneaky game of the week. For going you. with the Bengals. Going with the Browns. You, uh, I meant the Browns, dude. You gotta you gotta I drop might, uh, the Bengal slander. What do we feel about the They're under good. on that? Nah. What do we feel about the under on that? 45. Actually, no, never mind. I'm wrong. The Browns have, I think they've allowed the most points in the AFC, or at least a couple weeks ago they were. I mean, it's an in-division yeah. game, though. It's true. I don't know. This is like a while. I, I could see it now. being like 2017, something like that, but I, I think the Bengals easily win. Like, I could see it being like 2017, 
but the Bengals are up 20 to 10, and then Jacoby Brissett goes on a last minute yeah. touchdown drive to make it a three point game, but the Bengals, in reality, won by 10. Okay. Um, you guys have anything else to touch on? I think that's it for me, amigo. Yeah, me too. Um, we'll see you next week when, what's that kid's name, the Jet Kid? Johnny. We'll Johnny next week. is going to get his ice cream this week, sadly. Well, we'll see. Um, thanks for listening. Like we said, follow us on all of our socials. Um, see you guys next week. Bye.